Okay, so here I'll show you an alternate way you can finish it. Um, so you want to click on your um, GIMP project, of course. And let's say you're just about finished with your line drawing. And uh, let's say you have all of the outline drawn and you just want to save this thing out now. Um, so probably the easiest way, again, is to keep these layers separate. Um, what I would do is click on the, in the bottom lower right of your screen, there's uh, several icons there. You're going to click the one on the bottom. It looks like a document with a plus sign next to it. Um, it's create a new layer and add it to the image. Now you can just click on that and add a new layer, or you can hold down shift. Now watch what happens if I don't hold down shift. Then I get this menu. And it's just an extra step, so I would click OK. However, if I hold down Shift when I do it, the layer is automatically created and I skip that step. <clears throat> so basically I have three layers now in my layers window. I have my image, I have my drawing, which is on the second layer, and then I have a blank layer on the top. However, I don't want this blank layer on the top. I want the drawing up on the top. So I'm going to grab the drawing layer and just drag it above the other one and then let go. In this middle layer, I'm going to give it a solid color. Okay, So I'm going to go up to the top left here of my screen in my toolbar. And where my color palette is, the active foreground color is black here. I don't want that. I want to change that to white. So I'm just going to click the little arrow and that's going to reverse them. Now my white foreground uh, is here. So now I can grab my paint fill bucket my bucket fill tool here on the toolbar. Make sure you're on the correct layer here, the second layer, and then I'm going to click and now boom I've got a nice uh, white layer in between my drawing and my photo down here. So now what I can do is I can combine these top two layers here. Um, I want to have the background here. I'll show you why in a sec. Um, well, you don't have to actually. Let me show you how you could do it without combining these yet. So let me go over to the zoom tool here. Let's go grab the magnifying glass. Let's zoom in on this and we're going to make all this color that I used. We're going to make it black. That's the final step. So again, I'm going to go up to my color uh, foreground color here and change it to black right there. So I click this arrow, these two arrows and change it to black in the foreground. Um, next, I'm going to go up here and grab my Select by Color tool. When you first look at your toolbar, you might see the Fuzzy Select tool here first. Just hold the, just click on it, hold your mouse button down, and then choose Select by Color. That one will select all of your color, of one single color. And what you have to do is get the crosshair on the right in the center where the color is, and then click. So you notice here I'm right in the color here of my drawing, and notice how it's selected everything. You can see the marching ants there. That means it's all selected. Now the easiest way to fill all of this in is with one shortcut. And it's basically you push the control key plus the comma key, the key where the comma is, and that'll fill it all in black. Control plus comma. Okay, and that'll take care of that. And now what I can do while I'm still zoomed in is I can grab my move tool up here in the toolbar and grab an area that's selected, still selected, and then just move it over to center it. Notice there it's moving with my uh, move tool. You can still see the selection area where, where you originally selected, but you can see the ink is moved, or the picture's moved over. So now I'm gonna zoom out just to look at it. Once I click on the zoom tool, okay, I can uh, make that zoom out just by holding Control down. Control is your shortcut, and that'll change it to a minus. And notice there, I'm way closer to the center now. And that's probably good enough right there. That's where I want to be. So now I want to deselect this selection area. I'll go up to Select and choose None, or Shift Control A is your shortcut. And so now my drawing is pretty close to center. That's probably good enough. Um, I could even zoom it in a little bit to fill it up more. So I may want to go in and choose um, the scale tool right here, which will be under all these tools in here. You might see a unified transform tool, which you can 
use that to do a lot of different things. I like to select the individual tool so I know I'm not screwing anything up. Then you click the area that you want to resize and then you just drag your handle out, hit enter, and then I can grab my move tool hopefully and move this over now. So now it won't let me move that because I'm on the wrong layer. Uh, but if, or actually it's getting the other layer there. So um, I could change this to move the active layer. So if I select that here or in the toolbar, I should be able to just grab it and move it. Do you see how that helped? So here you can see I have a border here a little bit, but um, it shouldn't show up when I'm done. And that looks pretty good right there. So now that I'm finished, I can just save this thing out. Um, you could flatten these layers if you want. You can basically go up to layer here and you can... Uh, you can merge it down if you want. You can, uh, if you merge down, it'll just merge the top two layers like that. And notice here now, this is one layer. So this is all one layer and the photo is its own layer. You don't really have to do that, but I like to combine these two together. But once you're done with that, now the, all you have to do is save it out. So now you'll go up to file and you're going to do uh, save as, okay? And or no, not save as. Sorry, don't listen to me. You could do file uh, export. So file export. Now it says select by file type. So click that down here on the toward the bottom. Click the plus sign where it says select file type, and you're going to find JPEG. So we're going to do a JPEG image. Okay, here we're going to name it. Uh, your final image will be uh, one dash your last name followed by the JPEG extension. So we're good there. Um, and we'll just go ahead and save this onto the desktop at this point. It's already set up here, save and folder. Just make sure you know where you save it. And uh, let's go ahead and just click export. Okay, now here's your quality slider. How much you want to compress it depends on how small you want to make the file or how large. I'm going to bump this up to 99. I'm just going to compress it a little bit to make it a little smaller. Then click export. And now when I go to my desktop, I should be able to find that picture here. And it looks like it's right here. And so this is the picture that I would attach to my email when I send an email to my professor. So you can click on it and take a look at it. Now it'll open in your Photos app, just like any other picture, right? Because it's a JPEG file. And there it is. You can see I've compressed it a little bit. It looks a little bit blurrier, but it's not too bad. I wouldn't compress it down more than 90. Uh, I'd, I'd keep it up to at least 99% or so. And that's your basic image that you're going to attach to your uh, email when you send it to me through Canvas.